After five days in capital, we're leaving uh, the city. We have a short day today, only 37 kilometers to Entebbe. Uh, yeah, there we're gonna stay a couple of days more. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a uh, busy cycling day today. It's a lot of traffic. It's only one highway to this place. So we change uh, our route a bit. Uh, we plan from Uganda. First plan was to cycle to Rwanda and Burundi. But uh, a week ago they uh, changed some restrictions. So they put a quarantine for three days. And uh, we need to do a lot of a lot of PCR tests, I think three or something. Uh, so yeah, also I think the land borders is closed as well. So some other people say it's still possible to enter, but legally it's only only for residents. So I guess it's. Too much hassle and a bit expensive to go to this small country it would be maybe 200 kilometers land in cycling so yeah also you cannot enter Burundi from from Rwanda so you need to go back to Tanzania and then Again into Burundi, so it's just a lot of hassle. It's a bit not worth it, I guess. So instead, we get our Tanzania visas and uh, maybe, maybe after one week, maybe more, we will reach it. It's uh, 350 kilometers to the border. Let's go!
guys so after spending a couple of nights in Entebbe uh, in a cooler plastic bottle house from 12,000 plastic bottles With the second attempt, we arrived to Sis Islands. We're gonna stay uh, for the New Year's. It's gonna be four days, probably. Uh, yeah, why second attempt? Because yesterday we tried with one ferry, but they they tried to take a, a fee for a bicycle which was ridiculously expensive like almost same price like a person which they didn't mention before so we save now and we just take a ferry next next morning so it's a really cool place In these islands they have uh, white beaches and just really nice and peaceful place so. guys and happy new years <laughs> even you're gonna see this video after some time but happy new years ah yeah so we have a little bit of hangover today but uh, yeah we want so much cycle we miss it's been some time that we do some uh, proper cycling days actually so we want to make some distance not gonna be uh, long stops now soon so, yeah it's uh, maybe three days of cycling to Tanzania border but first we need to leave this island it's 35 kilometers and uh, we don't know when the ferry leaves it's uh, midday already Yeah, let's go. Just uh, cross the lake to the mainland. I find uh, another couch surfing host. It's 35. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 35 kilometers. It's uh, 4:30 p.m. So hopefully we're gonna arrive uh, still on the daylight. So if if we arrive at all. Actually, we are super tired, but yeah, let's see.
Bye. Happy New Year. It's uh, 150 kilometers to border on the small roads, Tanzania border. And then today is gonna be a hard day. Uh, yeah, in front of us we have 1,800 meters incline, so it's in 100 kilometers. So today and tomorrow it's gonna be. Mostly rolling uphill. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough day. But, uh, let's enjoy the last days of the hill Uganda. And next stop, Tanzania. sitting in the small village just chilling relaxing from uh, from cycling escaping the hot hours <laughs> anyway uh, so uh, yeah and these small boys just uh, bring us corn you know they starting share uh, food with us even they don't have uh, themselves what to eat in these rural areas, the big poverty here. In general, in Uganda, it's like 41% living on a two dollar per day. And uh, hi, and it's like 44 million people. So you can imagine what number it is, like how many people living in poverty. And uh, yeah, I'm just so amazed how people don't have food but and yet they share with the strangers Today's really hot day, actually. Uh, is it only 38 kilometers yet? In like what? Six hours. Uh, we're planning to do a couple of hours more today, and maybe, hopefully, today. We think we could find a wild camping place. <laughs> it's been a while, actually. I think the last place we camped in the wild, it was in Sudan, by the Meroya pyramids. 
if I remember correctly. But yeah, we would like to do that. So I don't know. I mean, it's still a lot of people here. By the way, 76% of Uganda people they live in rural, 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 rural areas <laughs> like like this, like we cycle them. So it's really hard to find a quiet place. I don't know. I have a feeling today that it might be that day. Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> What did you say? Fucking big hill this one. Is it? Yes and no. Like all hills today. Yeah, but this one is more. Yeah, we stopped for the water and children of the whole village is behind us. Watching us, what we're gonna Hello. do. Yeah, so it's 530, 76 kilometers, probably would be a good time to look for a camp spot. But uh, of course, it's village after village. Basically when you see an exit, probably a perfect opportunity for the camp spot, you need to run. Because if uh, children are gonna see us, uh, yeah, they just run to you and don't leave you alone until you leave them. So. But yeah, it's uh, 10 minutes past 7. Whew like 11 hours almost 7 hours non-stop 98 kilometers and now we're somewhere between corn and banana fields 
so <laughs> of course we are on a hill so to find a black spot probably it's not possible but oh yeah what do you think Pat? good this this where we are now yeah should we go deep in the banana field or or just look for flat spots something well, this area looks nice yeah but also you can see we can go up there yeah behind those bushes yeah let's try that that place 